One love, y'all, because we're together. United, baby, under one roof, come on. In a house, a house of sounds. It's one love, y'all, forever and ever. We are free, we are love. We're round, we're skinny, we're big, we're small. But we have love in our heart. Okay, like this works, but it needs, it needs, it needs that. That is what we needed. Hey there, hello, welcome to uh, another weekly vlog. So for the past like month or so, I've been doing my weekly vlogs Monday through Friday, but today is Sunday and today is just such, it, it's, I can only describe it as like a vlog worthy Sunday because what I'm doing today is like the type of stuff that I would love watching in a vlog myself. So when I like made my plan for the day, I was like, I kind of really want to vlog. So here we are. We're starting the weekly vlog a day early this week because it is a day of just like stuff around the house. And like I said, stuff that I would personally really enjoy watching in a vlog. So today I'm going to be starting the process of getting things up for the holidays. So I'm going to be taking down all of my Halloween decorations bringing up all of my holiday decorations. I'm gonna go through and see what I have and kind of figure out what I wanna do. So throughout this week, I will be incorporating my decorating for the holidays into this vlog. I'm so excited. I plan to just, instead of trying to tackle it all in one day, which is what I did last year, and I realized that was a massive mistake and it's something I should have given myself some time to do. Um, so throughout this whole vlog, throughout the week, I'm gonna be decorating the house for the holidays. Um, I also just need to do other stuff today like laundry, water the plants. I'm going to make a bomb ass like flatbread pizza thing for lunch or I'm hoping that it's going to be a bomb ass. We're going to see because I haven't tried it yet. So, um, and then I actually, I made myself a little list of things because there was a lot. So filming this vlog intro was one of the things on my list or my next thing on the list. I'm going to take down Halloween. I'm going to make my movie list. Okay, so I did this last year and I think I mentioned it in my decorating for Christmas video that I posted on my main channel last year. Um, but what I did was I went through and wrote down all of my favorite Christmas movies and then I added a whole bunch of ones that I wanted to watch and just classic ones. And throughout all of November and December last year, I went through this whole list and I watched almost every single one. I wanna say there were like maybe two that I didn't end up watching or that I just decided that I didn't want to watch. But I did, like in my eyes, I completed this list. I completed what I wanted to complete. And I think I watched probably like 30 Christmas movies last year. Pretty sure. So this year what I want to do is rewrite that list, go through and write the movies I'm going to watch this year because I don't think I'm going to watch every single one that I watched last year. Because first off, there's a lot of movies. Second off, I feel like I could replace it with some movies that... I've never seen before and stuff like that. So with that being said, if you know of any like obscure holiday movies and they don't have to specifically just be Christmas, I just, it seems to be that <clears throat> Christmas movies are the ones that are abundantly available. I personally, because of the way my family is, I celebrate both Christmas and Hanukkah when it comes to those specific holidays. Um, so if you have other, I'm totally down to watch whatever holiday videos, but they just end up mostly being Christmas movies. Um, and so when I say obscure, I mean ones that just aren't super mainstream. So for example, there's this one I mentioned last year and I'm going to mention again because I love it and I will watch it again this year. It's called The Holiday Calendar and it stars Kat Graham. It's on Netflix and she basically finds this advent calendar or it's given to her, I think by her grandma or her grandpa or something. I don't remember exactly, which is why I'm okay watching it again. Um, but it's super cute and I love it. So I will try if I remember to maybe list a bunch of my favorite ones in the description of this video because there are a lot that aren't super mainstream popular. Like one I would consider like mid tier level or like second to third down tier level when it comes to popularity is called Holiday in Handcuffs. It stars Melissa Joan Hart, who was uh, Sabrina the Teenage Witch, and Mario Lopez, and it is just so cute. Hands down, one of my favorite Christmas movies ever. Um, but yeah, okay, so <laughs> with all of that Christmas movie talk out of the way, um, I'm gonna go do my next couple things for the day, which I think I'm gonna fold a load of laundry, and then I will make myself that pizza for lunch. I'm 
I'm so excited to make this pizza thing. I was thinking about it last night at work about what I wanted to add to it and what I wanted to do to it. I just hope it tastes good. Okay, so it's time for me to make lunch and I'm gonna make this pizza thing. And the reason that I qu I'm questioning whether or not it's going to work is because, ooh, I didn't even think about it. I have this pesto stuff that I got um, from my weekly food box and it's like a sun-dried tomato pesto, but I realized I don't know how long it's supposed to be good for. It smells okay. And the best buy says December. So like as long as there isn't a thing that says, you know, like use within a week or something, right? I should be okay. I should be okay. Um, but so I've put this, I've used this as a base before on a pizza. And so that's what I'm gonna do again. I'm gonna do a base of this and then I'm going to saute some onions and garlic and put that down. And then I'm gonna put my cheese and then I'm gonna drizzle it with barbecue sauce, but it is a maple barbecue sauce. Um, and I just, I'm not 100% sure if it's gonna work, if the flavors are gonna meld well together, but I'm hopeful, I'm hopeful. So uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna pick out my first Christmas movie to watch, but I don't know what I wanna start with. I think I might just like turn on the TV and like start scrolling through and see what sparks my interest. I think that's what I'm gonna do. All right, let's get to cooking. Okay, so I ended up choosing, I'm scrolling to it now, um, Christmas with the Cranks, which I have to say is probably one of my top five favorite Christmas movies of all time. Um, if you haven't seen it, it's with Tim Allen and Jamie Lee Curtis, and it's just, Okay, so verdict is it's pretty damn delicious. The only thing is that it just, it's not as crispy as I would like. Like it's rather soft, little, almost a little soggy on the bottom. Um, either way though, it still tastes delicious. Um, and I'm sure it'd be really good if I had like chicken and other veggies and stuff on it, but this was just a quick lunch for me. So yeah, the next thing I'm gonna start doing is taking down Halloween and, and getting ready to put up the holidays. I'm so excited.
Okay, so a pro tip that I figured out last year is, I don't know about anyone else, but I have seen a number of people struggle with putting lights on trees when starting at the bottom and then getting to the top and either only having like a small amount left and not having enough room for like a full strand or getting like super close to the top and running out so you end up making it look more sparse and it doesn't look even going all the way down. So I figured out my trick is test all your lights first so you make sure they all work and then start from the top and work your way down and that way you can keep it as even as you want the whole time. And if you get to a certain point where you're like, oh no, I've run out, you can get another set. And if you have extra, you just like tuck it below the tree. You could wrap it around the base of the tree. It, I just found it made the whole light process a lot easier. So yeah, now that the tree's up, I think I'm gonna start going through all of my bins and boxes and see what I have and decide how I want to organize everything and where I wanna put things. So when I decorate for holidays, the main rooms I do are the kitchen, this room, and then my bedroom. All right, I'm gonna just go through my boxes now and see what I have. Okay, happy Tuesday. I swear in my life, Target will be the death of me, more than likely. Um, so I just went into Target and I, I quite literally went in because I needed butter, rice, and frozen fruit for smoothies. And I spent almost $100. I, why? But I got some fun stuff, so I might as well show you what I got. So frozen fruit, I did get. I did get the things that I needed, which is always a good thing. Um, so this blend is strawberries, mango, and pineapple. And then this blend is blueberries, blackberries, and red raspberries. So these will both last me, I would say, like two to three weeks with both bags. Okay, next up are the rice packets. So I got this one like a week or two ago and I thought it was so good. It's coconut basmati rice and it's Good & Gather, which is Target's brand. And then I also got this Seeds of Change brand, their organic Spanish style rice. And I really liked it. And so today I also got the Good & Gather brand and I figured I would just see which one I like better because the nutrition is very similar. And then of all the things I actually went for, I also got, this is, also good and gather and it's plant-based um butter so non-dairy butter i'm interested to see if i like this um a lot of recipes like the hello fresh recipes that i've been doing lately call for butter and i just haven't minded using it in other certain things just a little bit here and there so i'm interested to see if i like this though i was kind of sad i couldn't buy just like one stick first to see how i felt about it but either way here we are um okay so then the the rest of the things I got were unnecessary, but like I'm excited about and they're going to be fun things either way. So first off is this really cool sign, holiday sign that says Ski Lodge. Um, and I thought this would be really cute to hang in my kitchen. Actually, I might as well. What if I just do it now? Turn you a little bit. I'm going to come over here. Ooh, I like it. I like it. To match that the the super cute hand towels look how cute these are they're so fun so fun i love these love 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 i got some wrapping paper and it is all snowflakes and there's it's thick like there's a lot of it which is good uh that was a christmas present for one of my friends can't show that i got myself a couple little bralettes little bra things Um, this soap dispenser for my bathroom. I really want to give my bathroom a refresh sometime soon, like repaint some things, redecorate my bathroom, just give it a bit of a refresh. So this is the first piece that I bought to do so. Um, I got it obviously in this little like dollar section of Target. Um, and I will more than likely film an entire vlog of just refreshing my bathroom. And then the final thing I bought today was this really cute set of pajamas. It's like a pair of shorts, a crop top, and a headband to go with it. And it is super, super soft and stretchy. And I'm very, I'm, I'm all about super comfy, soft, stretchy pajamas, love. So, oh, oh, oh. 
and the last thing I got, I found this in the checkout as I was um, leaving. My Target added a new little section that has like lemonade and like the little like Sabra to go with like the hummus and pretzels and just like all that kind of like stuff that's like that you can refrigerate. So like perfect bars and things like that. Arizona tea, I think I already said that or did I say lemonade? Either way, that kind of stuff. And so they have these boxes that have three little dip kits in them. And so my problem, my, my little peeve is the fact that this says kids because this is taco dip and rolled tortilla chips. The, let me tell you something right now, Sabra, that is not just a kid thing. Um, when I saw this, I was like, that is so fun. I don't give a shit that it says kids. Call me a kid if you have to. I don't care. That looks like an awesome snack. Um, it's a plant-based snack. It's actually not that bad for you because it's made of um, chickpeas, water, tahini, um, lime juice, tomato powder, soybean oil, salt, garlic. Like it's made with some good stuff. The, it, it just, yeah. And so I definitely already ate, where is it? This one um, on the way home and it is delicious. It is super good taco dip the little chip things are crunchy and salty and so yeah i got a bone to pick with you sabra because these let me tell you do not need to be marketed just towards kids because when i saw this i was like that is so fun i would totally take this to work as a snack or just to eat as a quick snack throughout the day especially if i'm like craving something salty like chips this is it's a good size because it's portioned out Plus you've got the fun dip with it. I mean, it's absolutely delicious, absolutely delicious. And they also had um, brownie dip ones that I'm sure is made of hummus with cocoa powder added to it. Um, but either way, this was a solid find. All right, so next up, um, it's Monday for me. So Mondays are my busy work day. So I'm going to be doing a lot of stuff at my desk for the majority of the rest of the day. It's actually also beautiful outside today. Um, it was like 45 over the weekend and today it is 70 out. Um, and I'm sure this is going to be the last day that it's this warm for the rest of the year because the, it shows the temperature dropping tomorrow and it's already a week into November. So I have to assume this is gonna be the last nice day of the year. So for that reason, um, I'm gonna take a break that I don't normally take in the middle of my Mondays um, so that my boyfriend and I can just go do something nice outside and enjoy the last day of really nice weather. Um, then I'll come back and work into the evening. So I don't know if I'm gonna to get to any more holiday decorating today, um, but obviously that's the main point of this video. So I will tomorrow. So for the rest of the day, you might just see me working at my desk, doing some stuff outside. Maybe I'll show what I make for dinner. I don't know, we'll see what I get up to. Tuesday. I don't know why I said hi, hello, is if this isn't like in the middle of a vlog. But um, anyways, either way, uh, like I said, it's Tuesday, and Tuesday is when my weekly food box from Imperfect Food arrived. Perfect Foods, Imperfect Food, Imperfect Foods, Imperfect Foods. Um, yeah, so my food box just arrived. I figured I would do a little weekly haul. I'm enjoying really putting, I'm really enjoying, words, I'm really enjoying putting my mini grocery haul into my weekly vlog. So we gonna do that again. Um, so I overloaded on carrots this week. I don't know if I'm gonna do it today. I might wait, maybe, ooh, maybe I'll do this on Saturday. I haven't really decided yet, but I want to make some homemade chicken noodle soup but use this broth that I have that is like a spicy chicken broth. So essentially make a spicy chicken noodle soup kind of thing. Um, so 
I got carrots to do that. I want to get some celery as well. They just didn't have celery on the menu or in the lineup this week. Um, and then I'll do uh, chicken, obviously, noodles, obviously. What else do you put in chicken noodle soup? I don't know. Either way, back to this. Um, and then I also got some carrot chips to use with hummus as well as I got some sauce this week. Bitchin sauce to be specific. And this is the spinach artichoke bitchin sauce. I have tried the chipotle version of this. And if you don't know, it is, um, it is made with almonds. It's... I don't know, it's supposed to be like a healthier dip sauce. So the ingredients are water, organ everything's organic. Um, there's sunflower oil, almonds, lemon juice, spinach, coconut aminos, uh, artichoke hearts, nutritional yeast, garlic, sea salt, jalapeno. So it's all, it's like a better for you dip is their whole thing. Um, and it's plant-based, nut-based kind of thing. Plants are, nut nuts are plants. Wow, I'm, I'm struggling with words today. <laughs> okay, so next thing I got, this is gonna be more of an experiment. I'm interested to see if this is good or not, but it is um, organic dairy-free sour cream. So the base of it is coconut and cashew milk. So I don't know, we shall see. I just found, so I was really, the one thing I really enjoyed about HelloFresh, um, if you don't know or haven't seen, I did a whole in-depth like, half an hour honest review of HelloFresh. And to be even more honest, there are a few things that after I tried it again for a couple more weeks, I could have totally added to that review, like a few more things that I like figured out and learned. Um, but either way, they do a lot of recipes where they use sour cream as a base for a sauce of some sort. And I really enjoyed it. However, I don't love what sour cream does to my stomach. So I was like, all right, well, I will I will try a dairy-free version. And the only thing that is currently um, worrying me a slight bit is that I can like feel it moving around in here. No, you can't, I don't think you can hear it, but like it feels weird. I don't know, either way, let's move on. I got chicken for said chicken noodle soup as well as I'll probably use like half of this for the soup and then the other half for dinner sometime this week. I got myself, this is strawberry preserves. I am enjoying doing um, toast as a breakfast, um, like toast and eggs when I don't work out. Um, on days that I don't work out, I'll do like toast and eggs for breakfast. And I've been loving putting some kind of preserve jam, whatever, on my toast. And then the thing I'm probably most excited about, okay, that for a second I thought that he didn't send me the right thing, um, but this is almond milk creamer and it is peppermint mocha so obviously for the holiday season um it's made with almond and coconut cream and all i know is that i brought this inside because with the mindset of i need to go make a cup of coffee right now so that is what i shall be doing i'm pretty sure it's all that's in here yeah okay that's the end of what is in this box um and so that means that it is time for me to go and try out this creamer and see how it is.
Okay, so it's the next day and I feel like so far in this vlog when it comes to decorating, I have only done like just like tiny bits and bobs here and there. Like I really haven't done much in way of decorating. I have my tree up. I didn't even end up filming decorating my tree. I kind of just wanted some time to myself to just turn on a movie and not have to worry about filming myself, about where the camera was set up, making sure my angles were correct and all that kind of stuff. So my tree has now been decorated. The tree has also since been knocked over. Um, I was laying in bed and I, I could hear my cat downstairs just like doing stuff. I didn't hear anything specific. I could just hear noises and I was laying there and I was like, I don't know why, but I just have this really bad gut feeling. And so I hopped out of bed and I walked downstairs and sure as shit, my Christmas tree is <laughs> lying on the floor. Uh, so I do still need to like pick up the rest of the ornaments. Thankfully, he only broke one thing. and I, I honestly don't even know what he broke because all I found on the floor was just like bits of a broken, what looked like an ornament or what felt like an ornament, but it was completely clear and there was no like hook or like ornament like the top part of the ornament anywhere and i don't have any clear ornaments on my tree i have one but it's filled with candy and that one's perfectly intact and then i have another one and that one's like a snow globe kind of thing and that's perfectly intact so i have no idea what actually broke if i figure it out i'll let you know um but yeah so i really just want to finish decorating today and get it done with um so i am going to go and try to do that okay first off apologies for the construction noises i'm sure you could probably hear the construction going on uh behind the camera in the street um but it was the uh ornament that had candy in it i don't know if you could see the hole right here where the broken glass is. Um, yeah, it just somehow stayed on my tree and when I looked at it, I guess I didn't realize that it was broken. But that's where all the broken stuff was coming from. So at least I figured it out. Um, it sucks though, because I always thought this was super cute and fun that I filled an ornament with candy. Um, I did this like years ago and it just like, it literally stuck. Like they're like all solidified together in there, um, which is why I could shake it and not feel bad. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna fix up my tree because let's, Look at, oh, Her Majesty the Star. <laughs> yeah, all right, I'm gonna fix that, get started, throw this away. Ooh, you know what would be really fun to do in a video? Like, do it like as like a girls' night with my friends or just like a night with my friends in general and, and let my boyfriend join um, and like make our own ornaments and like fill them with fun stuff. That could be kind of fun. Okay, <laughs> tree time, decorating time.
All right, so I'm done decorating, finally. Uh, let's take a final look. All right, so that is it. I I honestly, I'm not gonna lie. When I first when I first did my tree, I didn't love it. The more I've stared at it, the more I've looked at it, the more I've fallen in love with it. Um, so that's cool. Um, but yeah, that is it for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed. I would love to hear about or see your decorations. So if you want to like follow me on Instagram and like DM me and send me some like cute pictures of your decorations or something like that or like tag me in some cute pictures of your decorations i would love to see um but either way that is it thank you so much for watching i hope you have a happy holidays and i will see you in next week's weekly vlog bye